declare ourselves to be righteous Muslims shall not participate in wars which take the lives of human beings. We do not believe that this nation should force us to take part in such wars, for we have nothing to gain from it unless America agrees to give us the necessary territory wherein we may have something to fight for. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. This is what we believe about war. This is, and this is my leader, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's who I'm following to my death. Well, tell us, champ, does Elijah Muhammad believe that there is a peaceful solution? Yes, sir. Islam is the peace of solution. The word Islam means peace. And once the uh, so-called Negroes join on to the religion of Islam, there'll be no more race riots and forced integration and violence in America. Muslims are peaceful people. Can you give us a description of uh, your appraisal of the reception you had here at Howard University? Well, it's the same as everywhere. Wherever black people are at, they all love me a thousand percent, mainly for standing up for them and turning down millions to identify with the average man's problem. And they all are with me. This is the same in every city, every college, and it's impossible for me to walk the streets. What is your feeling about the, uh, the championship, the crown itself? If they do as they say they plan to do, take it away from you over this induction controversy? I'll tell feeling? you one thing. We'll check with the public. The public know who the champion is. Now I'm going to ask these people something, and let's just see what they say. They don't even know what I'm going to say. Can my title be taken without me being whooped? No! no! One more time. No! No! That's all. All I can do. <laughs> Wall making. Yes, sir. Put an end to those who delight themselves in making war. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stop them once and for all. Right. Yes, Go ahead, dear apostle. Yes, sir. Sit that they had among themselves in Europe once upon a time a 30 year war, a 100 year war, and everywhere that they have gone, so history teaches us. Right. On the planet Earth, among people, they started war. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It is this race of people That's right. the truth. that makes mystery yes, everywhere they go That's right. That's right. that don't believe right. and will do everything they get. You believe. This is what you call Satan. Others, as I just mentioned to you, you are those who hate to see the people serve righteousness and truth. That's right. We cannot live among that people that is an enemy to God since God himself now is present. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, unless we want to suffer their fate or the consequences. God come to destroy unrighteous That's right. and to set up righteous. We have been lost from our home for now a little over 400 years. So we are now trying to find the way home. Yes, sir. But when we read the history of our forefathers coming into America, well, not say coming into America, they never would have been here if, they, if it had been left to them. Since they were brought here by force of those who 
wish to commercialize on their label. That's right. Why not you tell them? <laughs> I was not here until you brought me here. Right. That's right. Now, if I am a burden to you, yes. why not take me back where I came from? They may reply yes, sir. that uh, that's too much expense. Right. Then you answer and say, well, you brought it on yourself. Right, I didn't, right. I didn't come here to bore right. you. Right. That's right. That's right, the old apostle. <laughs> All of his troubles, he made it for himself. Yes, yeah. that's right. We uh, have not had any knowledge of ourselves, nor of a kind that we left, nor of a religion, nor the God of our religion, nor the people of our religion. That's right. We have been isolated yes, from God, truth, and our people and native land. I want you to remember, my beloved, that this is the problem that must be solved today. We, the lost and found people, black people in America, and the way to self, yes, the way to our own. We have lived in a world that is opposed to truth and righteousness. That's right, that's right. We have lived in a world for the last 6,000 years that is opposed to the aboriginal people of the earth, black people. This is the history of Yakub, the father of the Caucasian people in the his way of grasp yes, from the righteous, from the black man, his race of people. And he didn't intend to stop until that he had separated black and white. White was in black, but no one had never made an attempt to bring it out. Yes, sir. All right. And the wrestling all night meant those six days, or six hundred years rather, that he was engrafting the white man out of the black man. It was like a revival meeting, and with as much emotion. It was the National Convention of Muslims meeting for one day here in Chicago at the Coliseum. It was attended by 11,000 persons, reportedly from 102 cities across the country. Among those attending the convention were Muhammad Ali, former heavyweight champion, who was Cassius Clay before his conversion into the sect. I give you, brothers and sisters, Brother Minister Muhammad Ali. I salam alaikum. In the holy name of Almighty God, whose proper name is Allah, who appeared to us in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, we forever thank Allah for coming to the wilderness of North America, searching, finding one to lead, to teach you and I, the so-called Negroes, the truth. For the first time in the past 400 years, I speak none other than our dear beloved leading teacher, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, and I greet my brothers and sisters in our original language, which is the Arabic language, and which means, may peace be unto you, Isalaamu Alaikum. Brothers and sisters, we don't want to take uh, no more of your time. I'm as eager and as ancient as you are. As a matter of fact, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat waiting to hear some wisdom from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. <laughs> I just 
would like to instill one thought into your minds, all of you of our brothers and sisters who believe in Almighty God, all of you who actually believe there's a, there is a supreme being, we want you to listen carefully to the words of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We've been going to all tight churches. We have preachers on every corner saying God called them. You've been all kind of false prophets, and people have came, and we're still catching the hell that we, um, as a matter of fact, just as much or more as we got when we first got here. So we want you to know that the man that you're about to listen to is a man that the power structure is. He's a man that white America calls a self-styled messenger of God. Tomorrow, when you pick up your newspapers, the results, reading about the results of this meeting, they will start out saying, Elijah Muhammad, the self-styled messenger of God. <laughs> right there, right there, this is a key to show you that this is a man from God, if you weigh the word. As long as he's talking in America, America today, no one of the white power structure, even from Washington, as high as you can go, won't even as much as challenge him. Not prove one thing wrong, not prove ten things wrong that he teaches, but they won't even challenge him. Now that I'm a Muslim, now that he gave me the beautiful name of Muhammad Ali and took away that slave name of Cassius Clay, now I can go all over the world, all over the world. Right at my home, 8,500 Jeffrey in the basement. I have 3,800 letters that I can't answer from Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, Pakistan, Indonesia, Ghana, Nigeria, and every letter opens up saying, I salam alaikum. How are you? We are very glad that you are a Muslim. When can you come to my country? He was sent to you directly from God. The white man don't want you to know who he is. So don't pay, this is the only man in America they don't want to talk to in the White House. This is the only man in America that you don't see out there begging. When you hear black power, it started right here. Go ahead. Everything that black people are talking today, Bring him to me, and I'll show you he heard another Muslim, or he was once a Muslim, or he read the newspaper, but they won't give him the credit. They don't want to follow the real man. How did he bring all of us together? Look at all these beautiful, clean sisters. No powder, no paint. Just everywhere. Can he, with a third grade education, style up something? All of these black people here, not one cigarette in your pockets, no alcohol on your breath, no men winking and patting at other women. That's a miracle for so-called Negroes. <laughs> one day he sat down and took him a pencil and made him up a religion that converted wine heads, dope addicts, Athletes, doctors. <laughs> and now they want to put me in jail because I follow this lovely and sweet man. I tell them they can clean out my cell and take me to jail because I never denounce this man. <laughs> Been looking for God, brothers and sisters. God has come. He's left a man to teach you, so listen to him. Weigh his words, and you figure out did he make this up or did God tell him? You have common sense. Isalam alaykum. I 
Assalamu alaikum. Brothers and sisters, the time has come. Yeah. We are happy to know the truth that we may repent yes, of being other than the truth. But once upon a time, we did not know the truth until the coming of this one that the world been looking for for the last 2,000 years. What they thought that was coming in the name of Jesus, yes, sir. it is in the name of Master Farad Muhammad. All praises due to Allah. Allah has revealed to me the truth. This mankind is none other than the white people. It is the same as you have in Genesis of your Bible, where it teaches you that let us make man in our life. When we, the original man, our people have no birth record. The black man has been ever since that there was a dot of love, pardon me, light in the universe of darkness. And no man knows when he was born. We have ran to each other to cut each other's throats and to shoot each other to pieces. Why? Because we didn't know who we were. We have been here working for an open enemy which no one had pointed him out to us. God Almighty in the person of Master Farad Muhammad has pointed that enemy out to us. And now we ask you, let us unite. All black people unite together under these. Freedom, justice, and equality. Unite on under the crescent of Islam. We cannot unite under our own the cross with freedom, justice, and equality, the cross will not give it to you. They can't give it to you. It's against their nature. If they show you a cross with a crucifix of a man or prophet that came to them 2,000 years ago, you should run at that ghastly sign of a prophet killed by people who are still trying to deceive you, to kill you. Any black man or woman put that cross around their neck or hang it in their home, worship it as one that came to give them salvation or give them life. From this people, the Christian people, you're only hanging death around your neck like he is. A sign of death, not a sign of life, but a sign of death. Will you be so foolish to follow a people whose history is murder of the prophets of old and kill the last prophet that came to them? Would you follow such people, the murderers of God's prophets? Can you get to God by worshiping the murders of his prophets? No, you no. can't. They don't deny it because they are trying today to get rid of this man. Yes, they would love to kill this one. But I don't know about that. I, uh, Have such the 
Bible. And the Quran too. Oh, this thing. Malcolm, all he knew. And you know, as long as Malcolm was with me, he was popular. The people wish him. But as soon as he went against me, he came then around to all of my followers trying to get them behind himself. Just, just like the history is written of him. You'll find him in the history that he tried to take Muhammad's followers while Muhammad was speaking. And this dog found his own vomit. That's right, dear apostle. And he had it, and it killed him. <laughs> and some of the hypocrites having white people back it to try to start trouble every savior they hear. <laughs> This time, warning black nation, nation, start trouble, kill Muhammad. I said to you, I think you both had better be careful. We are for peace. Now you have no history nowhere in this country, no city, for 37 years that we tried to start some aggressive act against anyone. We go sit on, but that don't suit the enemy. That is no uh, uh, mercy for an enemy to have on you. He likes you on arm so that he can kill you easy. He know you are not on him now, but yet he have all of his home stuff. So he says himself, with deadly weapons to kill black people this year. I warn you, I warn you that you may have weapons stored up for yourself. Allah have came to deliver us from such wicked people, merciless people, who always have planned the destruction of his own slaves. Now today, he would stop all outside war to kill you and me. He both, he openly tell you and boast up that they are prepared to slaughter you by the thousands. That's right. Knowing that you don't have nothing. Nothing for it. You don't have a double barrel shotgun, That's some right. of them. Some of you don't have nothing but a can of gasoline. He have come. I warn you, my brother and sister, do not take them for friends. They are not friends of yours. If it was not, it would not, rather, be charged that I am trying to tempt God to take care of me. I don't want to tempt him, but I'm not afraid to do it. You walk with you. I have in my possession where that you have said white people I'm talking to that if we can get rid of him, me, Elijah Muhammad, we can go and build for us a glorious future. He gives us the bad name. I didn't give you no bad name. It was your maker give you a bad name. <laughs> on for us, a safe. It was time to live on it, overseer the people for 6,000 years. And at that time, that will be the end. That time has been gone ever since 1914. Now today, they are looking square in the eyes of their own doom. 
the world today. I must tell you as you are my people who don't know it, the world that we have known, the white man's world, is now falling to pieces. They boast about what they have and what they will deprive us of. I say the earth belongs to the black man. There was not one square foot of earth given to the white race. He's telling them, and they know that. It's here in your Bible, they printed it, it's right here, that they won't be able to win. They may fight, but prevail not. Here in your Revelation, in the last book of your Bible, you can't win and rule the earth continuously. Today, your time is up. Time is up. You're opposing, and you're trying to drag your slaves to hell with you. You will be greatly disappointed. We have a savior that is born among us, the true God. Without the knowledge of our own people living in Africa and around the rim, southern rim of America, we didn't know each other. But I said, a savior is born. I said to you that now our hand has been linked for the first time. We are now hand in hand with each other across that Atlantic. We are Muslim by birth. We are the righteous, but has been deceived by our slave mastering and their children. Pulling off your clothes to show the nation your shame. Teach, teach, teach. Teaching you to oppose each other, especially if it's a Muslim. I said to you, my black sister, pull off that ministry so long for 400 years. Can we survive with all of that trick now, offering you their women, their men, parading them? with you up and down the street and the highway, laying out on beaches in the summertime side by side, swimming in the same filthy water together. Can we survive? Can we overcome our ignorance of this people? Can we find freedom among our own people? Can we find brotherly love among ourselves so that our own people will recognize us as people of respect and people of love of self? Can we find such a way to act? Can we find love for our own black self? We are black people and not white people. Can we love ourselves? How strong is the foundation? Can we build a foundation that will withstand the technology of this devil? Can we build a foundation of our own choosing that will take us into the hereafter? No.